So here we have to identify the statement that is not true for all real numbers a and b. So let's look at some of the familiar ones. Uh, I see the difference of squares. Yes, this is true for all values of a and b. So that one is out. This one we can do a quick expansion. This is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And then this in parentheses would be a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. If I distribute the minus here, I will be left with the 2ab terms, because a squared minus a squared, these cancel out, I get 4ab. So that one is also true for all a's and b's. So we're really left with that. That one is the cubic expansion. Uh, a plus b cubed is indeed that. Uh, if you don't recognize this, then you're going to, you have, only option you have is to do the expansion. But you could also just multiply this out. This would be a cubed minus a b plus b squared a squared minus b cubed. And, and you'll notice that this is not equal to a cubed minus b cubed because this term is not equal to uh, zero. So the answer is d. Uh, this one, I think this one is a good one to know, the cubic expansion. Uh, if you don't know, then your option would be to do a plus b squared times a plus b. So this is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And then you do this expansion. Um, so that's b squared a, b cubed, 2a squared b plus 2ab squared, and then you'll notice that this is 3a squared b, that becomes 3ab squared, and then b cubed. So that is indeed identical to that. So the answer is d.